This is How Does a Sewing Machine Work, particularly a Singer Featherweight. This is How Does a Singer Featherweight Thread and Sew. And we'll name the parts as we go along. So first we're going to start out with the hand wheel, which uh, is powered by the motor and the belt. And then that turns the upper shaft and the lower shaft, which uh, rotates the hook around the uh, bobbin case. We have a felt with a spool pin on it. We're going to put the thread on top of that. And then we're going to thread it up and we go through a thread guide. Then we go around the tension assembly and catch a check spring, which uh, keeps the thread from getting caught when it's uh, loose. The take up lever is what I'm threading right now. And that's what makes the loop that goes all the way around the bobbin case with the hook assembly. And we have a thread guide there and a thread guide <clears throat> right above the eye of the needle. The needle's held with a needle clamp screw. And then we have the presser foot, which um, I'm raising and lowering the pressure on the presser foot. And that closes the discs on the tension assembly, which makes it easier to pull on the thread there. Sometimes it helps when you're trying to thread it if you'll cut that thread at an angle makes it easier to poke through the eye of the needle. This is a machine that threads with the flat of the sewing machine needle on the left, so it threads from right to left, because the flat side of the needle has the scarf on it, which the hook will go around. And this is the bobbin case, and inside the bobbin case we have a bobbin, which is a little spool of thread. And then we have a tension spring on that bobbin case, and you gotta make sure that it's snug in there because that's what puts tension on the lower thread. And you can see, you can pull on it and see that it pulls a little bit. And you're gonna balance that by tightening the tension assembly on the top thread. So it's a, it's a push and pull situation where the bottom thread balances against the top. And there's a couple of positioning fingers on that uh, needle plate, which holds a um, assembly that the bobbin case attaches to and it keeps it stationary even though it's loose inside the machine so that the hook can wrap around it and there you can see the thread wrapped all the way around the hook it would normally wrap around the bobbin case but we're putting the bobbin case back in there so that we can do that and when you snap it in there you hold on to that little handle and make sure it sticks in there by pulling on the thread make sure it doesn't fall out and we're gonna raise that pressure foot up and take up lever and then we're going to catch that bobbin thread and top thread and pull them out and we'll floss underneath there and put those two threads underneath the presser foot so now they're nice and free under that needle plate we have a couple of feed dogs and those feed dogs are what move the fabric but they can only move it when the needle's not in it so we don't break needles so we're going to start at about a quarter inch from the edge of the fabric and then we're going to start sewing forward and after we've done a couple stitches uh, that's what it looks like with the light on I ran this without the light because it was bothering the camera as you uh, start sewing you back tack by sewing backwards and to do the reverse you raise that lever over there and then that sews backwards there's a little knurled knob on that so you can adjust how far it sews forward and backwards. And then when you come to the end of the fabric, you do the same thing. You sew to the edge, sew backwards, and then sew forward. So that ties off the, the thread there. Take up lever, if we stop at the top there, it makes it easy to pull out. And then when the next stitch stops, we'll have a very nice, easy to use stitch that's balanced. There are more things to learn about the sewing machine, but this will get you the basics. It's the more you know, the easier it is to sew.